turn this closed and secret compartment keychain with a standard kit and the handle anything chuck. A 10 millimeter drill bit. I prefer brad point so the bottom of the hole is fairly flat. The heart of our closed end system, the handle anything chuck. Standard 10 millimeter bushings, along with our maxi mandrel rod. A 10 millimeter internal plug, our 7 8 wrenches or equivalent to open and tighten the chuck collet. And digital calipers which are optional but highly recommended. Here we have our kit and the 10 millimeter internal plug. The plug is threaded, so it can have a stable and secure attachment to the mandrel. We're going to press the plug into the side of the tube that will be on the closed end side of the blank. We're going to have to drill a blind hole into the blank and we need to know how deep it needs to be. So we grab our calipers and measure the total length. Our measurement is 2.42 inches or 2 and 27 sixty-fourths but we'll drill a touch deeper for trimming purposes. And here we have our blank drilled and the tube and plug glued into place. We're going to have to trim, but we can't use a barrel trimmer. It won't fit. Instead, we thread the mandrel into the internal plug inside and insert the 10 millimeter barrel trimming sleeve. The sleeve sticks out, which is good because with that gap, we will be able to have access to the end that we need to trim. Hand tighten the collet. We don't need it super tight. Bring up the tailstock. Now we cut straight in and carefully remove extra length until the end is flush with the tube. Take the barrel off and check the end. Chamfer the opening to remove any burrs from trimming and to make pressing just a little easier. Slide the bushing in and make sure it sits straight before moving to the next step. Now I remount the barrel onto the mandrel along with the bushing. Thread the barrel all the way onto the mandrel and then back it off a few turns. Loosen the collet so the rod can slide. Use the tailstock to push everything against the chuck. Now use the wrenches to fully tighten the collet. And finish threading the barrel onto the mandrel so it is tight against the bushing and the chuck. Readjust the tailstock if needed. Proceed to turn a straight profile close to your final diameter. Now remember our tube measurement after we pressed in the plug? We're going to use it again. We measured 2.42 inches. I'm going to mark at two and a half and that gives us plenty of space. We can now cut off the end anywhere past here and we won't run into the tube. We'll mark a second point here for our closed end. Bring up the tool rest and hand turn with the pen to extend the mark around the piece so it's easy to see when turning. Reduce this section to the right of the line as a support piece. Now let's start to shape our final piece. Use the bushing to turn the open end, the side closest to the chuck. And now shape the closed end. We're going to just do a simple rounded edge for that. Now that the turning is done, let's do most of the heavy sanding with the support piece still in place. Once the sanding is mostly done, reduce the support piece until we can cut it off as carefully and cleanly as possible.
Now sand the end and while increasing grits, blend it into the rest of the barrel so the whole piece is uniform. And we apply polish. For this piece, I'm using Aussie oil. Now we're done with the lathe, take off the finished piece and head back to the pen press. Pull out the parts we will be using, separate the cap and the coupler because we can't press directly on the cap. Grab out the o-ring and place it here. Put the wood on the nylon side of the press to prevent damage. Screw on the cap, attach our key ring, and done.